let's install your Tech Air race vest into your Bison Thor.2 one piece or two piece leathers. Now let's start by detaching the inner liner via the zipper. It starts down at the lower right torso. You'll see the zipper head. Go ahead and unzip it around the perimeter of the torso and down to the lower left. You'll then detach the head of the zipper completely and pull the inner liner down. On the next step, we're gonna to move to the sleeve where there are three Velcro attachment points. Simply undo the Velcro at the cuff and the one above the zipper. In the next step, we're going to remove the CE Level 2 back protector, which is not needed with the Tech Air race vest. We're going to pull the flap over the bottom of the back pad, fold over one of the ears on the side of the pad, and then just pull it out. It's pretty pliable. You can set that aside. You will not need that for use with the Tech Air race. Moving back to the sleeve, we're going to take a look at the LED indicator tab on the arm, on the left arm. Now behind that tab, if you fold the arm inside out just a bit, you'll see a Velcro patch. Pull the hook portion of the Velcro off and set it aside while we install the LED lights. You will need to order this LED harness from Alpine Stars directly. You can see on one end we have the LEDs, on the other end you have the plug which connects to the back of the vest. Now we're going to start by installing this through the arm. You can see here how it sits inside the suit, uh, essentially where it plugs into the back of the vest, but it's going to sit underneath the liner of the suit. So what we're going to do is start by putting the LEDs in through the left upper armhole. And then we're going to reach up through the cuff of the arm with the other hand, grab the LEDs and pull them down into position. Align the lights behind the holes in the LED tab, press the LED lights in, and replace the Velcro over the top of the LED panel just to secure it into place. We can now route the plug into the harness through the elastic eyelets and the shoulder and along the sides of the speed hump to keep the cable in place. And then route the plug through the grommet and the lower back of the inner liner. During this step, be mindful not to catch the plastic clip on this plug on the mesh or on the grommet. If it does get snagged, don't pull too hard as you could potentially break that clip off the plug. Now we're done with the sleeve, so we can go ahead and reattach the Velcro attachment points. Now we'll move back into the inner liner where we'll pull the sleeves of the liner out and you'll find some large rectangles at the upper arm area. As you'll see on the Tech Air vest, you have rectangle Velcros to attach there. So we'll start by connecting those, then we'll move up to the shoulder, we'll attach one of the circles, and then jump over to the other arm. On the other arm, we'll repeat that process by first attaching the rectangle and then the circle. Finally, we'll attach that large rectangle Velcro at the base of the back of the neck. With the vest now attached via Velcro, we can re-zip the liner into the suit. Start at the lower left torso, reconnect the zipper heads, run the zipper around to the lower right torso. Now that everything is zipped into place, we can go ahead and plug the vest into the LED harness. And you just clip that plug right here. If you're using the vest right now, switch it on via the switch right above the plug. Now we can go ahead and tuck the vest into the suit and prepare it for the final installation. And what we'll start with is the upper arms and shoulders. Really tuck those sleeves into place. Make sure the liner isn't twisted. Make sure that the vest isn't twisted or bunched up there in the upper arms. And finally, we're going to go ahead and attach the Tech Air race vest to the Bison suit using the two front zippers. You'll see the Tech Air vest has a yellow zipper, whereas the Bison suit has a black zipper in the same position. They are the same style of zipper. You'll just need to start at the top, zip them down, and here's what you'll have, a half black, half yellow zipper on each side. 
With the vest now fully attached in the suit, let's go ahead and test the operation of the Alpine Stars Tech Air Race System. Attach a magnetic clasp at the front of the chest and refer to your Alpine Stars instruction manual to ensure that the LEDs are indicating proper operation. Once that is done, let's go ahead and try the suit on. Fortunately, getting into a bison suit with a Tech Air Race vest is pretty straightforward. Because the vest attaches in the suit in so many areas, it doesn't move around while you're getting in. Simply put the bottom half of the suit on, slide each arm in. Now the one big difference, of course, is that you're going to attach this magnetic clasp at the front of your chest, which will activate the Tech Air Race system, and then zip the suit at the front. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the switch is on in this step, and then ensure that the LEDs come on in their proper sequence. Once you're in the suit, fitment should look similar to this. Even though we installed this vest into a one-piece suit today, insulation into our Thor.2 two-piece suits or jackets is very, very similar. Regardless, if you have any questions throughout any process of installation, don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at bisontrack.com or at the phone number below. As always, we appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you trackside very soon. Go fast, be safe.